He is the King of Kings. Hey, he is the Lord oh, of Lords. Hallelujah. His name is Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. 
You alone do we exalt, Lord. Makashanda rabosiada, kibo kataya daraba. May we humbly resume our seats. Kosayana. His name is Jesus. 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 When we look back from the beginning of this church, when we reflect on your wonderful works, your marvelous works, your timely interventions, the great and marvelous things that you have been doing, even beyond our imagination, we remember that indeed your name is above all names you are the only one we praise you are the only king we adore you are the only king we bow to you reign always you take dominion always every time you are in charge oh lord our god we worship you we bless your name we glorify your name ancient of days ever faithful god you never disappoint your church and so today oh god as one family we join our hearts together blessing your holy name for the victory you've won to your church and the marvelous victory that you are about to win all oh, to your glory we bless your holy name now and forevermore amen let's appreciate the lord with a clap offering Please clap your hands, all ye nations. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. People of God, I'm greeting, eh? Praise the name of the Lord. We thank God so much. Chairman, the 18th Extraordinary General Council meetings appointed a new evangelism director because the, the term of office of the current one has come to an end. At the same council meetings, um, three other directors, the mandate of three other directors were reviewed and given another term to say. The same council meeting also created new ministries uh, under the vision 2028. We have therefore gathered here, number one, to induct into office the new directors that um, God has blessed his church with and also outdoor the newly created ministries under vision 2028 and also farewell the outgoing evangelism director i am praying that all of us will cooperate and all of us would support what we are doing with our spirits and with our hearts and with our mind so that everything will be done to the glory of our lord on behalf of the chairman i want to welcome you once again to this very important occasion amen Amen. Amen. Good. This meeting has also brought many, many, many people from all walks of life into this um, auditorium. Uh, we want to say that the very first person we want to acknowledge is you that is seated here. You want to clap for yourself and appreciate yourself. We are so happy you are here and want to thank God that you have been able to make it. But beyond that, we have some of our officers in this meeting. And so officers, elders, deacons, deaconesses, you want to lift up your hand so we can see you and especially welcome you. Also in this service, Chairman, we have ministers and wives. Ministers and wives, many of whom are from Accra here. And so ministers and wives here present, you want to lift up your hand, give us a wave and let's see that you are also here. Chairman, uh, by the grace of God, we have um, some of the board of trustees members of the board of trustees in our maze elder dr ken abua is here elder engineer Ura Safo is also here and then apostle ringwell ato addison also here they are members of 
trustees. Yes, you are welcome. We also have in the chairman of the finance board, um, Elder Professor Ousu Kranchi, and the FAD, Pastor Apa. They are all here. And also, other chairmen of other committees are all here. And we want to acknowledge your presence and we say we are happy that you are here. Chair, God has blessed us in this meeting with the heads and wives of our church. Heads and wives of our church. Respectfully, can you rise to your feet? Let's see you. Heads and wives, please. So, heads and wives, God which you bless you. We are happy that you are here. We also have some of the executive council members in this meeting. Uh, respectfully, I want to request all the executive council members and their wives to stand to their feet so we would uh, recognize them and appreciate them. Thank you very much. But in this meeting, we have Apostle Emmanuel Ajuman Bekwin, the International Missions Director, and his wife, Mama Deborah, here. I am Samuel Jeu Obobi, uh, together with Koko, my wife. And then we also have chairing this meeting and leading us in this service, our own father, the, the chairman of our church, the man that God has blessed us with in these times, the gift of God, Apostle Eric Nyamiche, together with his wife, Mama Mary, shall we? Mama Mary, we didn't see you. <laughs> Let's clap for them, please. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chair, I also want to say that um, in this service, we uh, have um, the new children's director. Uh, God also blessed us with a children's director uh, who is also a new person. And so it is not only the evangelism director who is new, but we have the children's director who is also new, together with the other ones whose mandates have been renewed. And there are some of our brothers and sisters joining us on Zoom. Uh, some of them could have been here or should have been here, but for some reasons, they are not here in person. But by the reason of technology, they can also join this service. And so they are joining us via Zoom. I'm sure that with time, they will let us see some of them and also welcome and appreciate them. God richly bless you all. We are happy you are all here. And I welcome you once again on behalf of our dear chairman to this service. Amen. Amen. Good. On this note, we will take a song ministration from the voice of Pentecost. Shall we, with a clap offering, welcome the voice? The
bless you god bless you voice of pentecost chair we also want to acknowledge the presence of our retired ministers our retired ministers they are all here i, have, I can see dr walker and them they are all the retired ministers <laughs> preaching the word of god this afternoon is the international missions director of our church apostle emmanuel achman bequen i'm happy to hand over the lectern to apostle bequen let's open our bibles to exodus chapter 13 exodus chapter 13 reading from verse 21 to verse 22 exodus chapter 13 reading from verse 21 to verse 22 i'm speaking on the ministry of the pillar of cloud and fire the ministry of the pillar of cloud and fire the ministry of the pillar of cloud and fire exodus chapter 13 verse 21 and 22 by day the lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud to guide them on their way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light so that they could travel by day or night neither the pillar of cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night left its place in front of the people hallelujah now the pillar of cloud and the pillar of fire were described as a dual theophany it was a manifestation of god that led israel on the wilderness now so the first thing we learn about ministry here is that ministry is manifestation ministry is manifestation ministry is manifesting god in fact in ministry there should be the public display of god in ministry god should be visibly evident in the ministry and today our prayer is that and you know now in the church of pentecost it is not only a selected few who are into ministry but we have understood in first peter chapter 2 verse 9 once we are all a royal priesthood we are all into ministry so when i'm talking about ministry it's not only about the clergy all of us i pray that your ministry will manifest there should be the public display of god in the institutions in homes in hospitals in schools god should be visibly present in our prayers god should be visibly present in our evangelism god should be displayed publicly number two the pillar of cloud was to guide them during the day so ministry is direction ministry is direction in fact your ministry must be able to provide direction if your ministry doesn't have direction but you have speed forget about speed for speed becomes irrelevant when you don't have direction but when you have direction then you can develop speed some ministries have speed but they don't have direction i pray that the ministries we are inaugurating today both traditional already existing and new ones and personal ministries and collective and corporate ministries will have direction in the name of jesus number three the pillar of fire was to give them light at night so ministry is light ministry must provide sight ministry must provide vision in ministry there should be illumination hallelujah so your ministry must be able to show the way that all darkness will flee and people will see god and that is our prayer today now technically the pillar of cloud and the pillar of fire it is only when you read numbers chapter 9 verse 15 that you realize that technically they were the same the pillar of cloud the amud anan and the pillar of fire amud esh were technically the same because the bible said in numbers 9 15 that it was the cloud that during the night provided fire so it was the same but during the day it is cloud during the night it is fire i am telling you that ministry is day and night ministry is day and night during the day we work as jesus said in john chapter 9 verse 4 and during the night when we don't work we pray which is also work in this entirety anyway but the bible says in matthew 13 that when men slept 
the enemy came to sow tests among the wheat so during the day we are doing evangelism we are working but during the night we pray ministry is day and night the place of the amudu anan and the amudu esh was in front of the people so we can authoritatively say that god is indeed an offensive player but sometimes he can also be a defensive player because when enemy were in pursuit of israel the bible says that the pillar of cloud then withdrew and came to the array so god is an offensive player god is also a defensive player i pray that the lord will lead you and i pray that the lord will defend you the cloud of glory is moving move, move with the with cloud, the cloud. Move, move with the cloud hallelujah the, the cloud, cloud of glory is moving hallelujah move, move with the cloud move with the cloud let your spirit arise and your mouth filled with praise come let us worship together oh and wherever you be new heights will be achieved The cloud, move with the cloud. Hallelujah, move with the cloud. Move. That was why in Ephesians chapter six, in talking about the armor, no armor was provided for the back, because you see, in ministry you don't retreat, you don't surrender, you only go forward, because when the enemy is in pursuit. You don't turn your back. You don't return because he's got your back. Your back is already covered. As soon as the enemy is in pursuit, the cloud moves from the front and comes to the rear. So you have protection. Oh, hallelujah. Numbers chapter 9. You can have time to read from verse 15 to verse 22. But in verse 15, the Bible says that when they finish setting up the tabernacle the cloud covered it so ministry is covering ministry is covering people must have covering because of your ministry ministry is covering and that was why they were covered so Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 5 Moses said I led you for 40 years but the clothes you wore for 40 years and the sandals you wore did not wear out so I strongly believe, the Bible didn't say, but I strongly believe that they were on the wilderness for 40 years. Their clothes did not wear out. Their sandals did not wear out. I believe the pillar of cloud was like an air condition. So it shielded them from the heat of life and from the sufferings of the world. Hallelujah. Oh, we are not saying that we will not go through challenges in ministry, but the heat of life will not actually make your clothes wear and your sandals wear for the cloud shall be over you may the lord cover you stand to your feet for i end with this one let your spirit arise and your and mouth, mouth filled with, with praise. praise come come let us worship, worship together, together. Oh, The Bible says, whenever the cloud lifts, they set out. Wherever the cloud settles, they come. Ministry is whenever and wherever. Whenever. Ministry is whenever, at any time, and at every time. 
in fact time makes no difference god works in time but he's not bound by time ministry is wherever it means that he can work in space but he's not bound by space wherever at every place at any place i pray that you will not be complaining about your transfers ministry is where god preaches you i pray that you will not negotiate about your transfers wherever and whenever and listen to this whenever the cloud lifts they set out wherever the cloud settles they settle so ministry is about setting out if you don't set out he cannot settle you it is only when you set out then you can think of settlement people are thinking of settlement but they are not thinking of setting out if you don't set out he can't settle you why talk about settlement when you don't want to set out i pray that people will not be staying in their closet that the church will set out as we are being unleashed oh set out but i end with this there is something called the shekinah glory people have always associated the shekinah glory with the pillar of cloud they cannot actually differentiate because wherever the cloud settles is where the glory dwells so if there is no settling there is no dwelling i tell you that the shekinah glory shall lead you as you set out the glory of the lord shall accompany you and where it settles you shall settle when it moves you have to move open your mouth and begin to pray ministry ministry Respectfully, please take your seats. We will invite Apostle M.C. Esiodu retired. Apostle John Apiedu to come and pray. Do it again in my life. Open my eyes to see Jesus. Sit Sometimes our father in heaven the establisher of this great church whenever your people gather you have a word this one is not just a word but prophetic to lift these ones that have been ushered into another realm of ministry and to every one of us that just as you did in time past oh god pillar of cloud pillar of fire pillar of cloud pillar of fire which is today holy ghost descend upon every one of us for we are a priest of nation that you oh god today is launching us out even though there are a few who are going to lead us therefore with uplifted hands oh god we pray that your persons shall lead and that we will not struggle for settlement but as we set out your glory shall lead and encompass us we resist the efforts of men 
barriers and impediments that will seek to frustrate every one of us and these leaders that we shall overcome. And because of the cloud of fire, cloud, which is fire, cloud, that will settle upon us, we will shine wherever we find ourselves. And whenever we are pushed anywhere, lead, O oh God, that as we are led, we shall manifest even signs and wonders in the mighty name of Jesus have we prayed. Amen. Thank you. Let's appreciate the Lord with a clap of friend, people of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ministry is manifestation. Ministry is direction. Ministry is light. Ministry is day and night. And ministry is wherever and whenever. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. <clears throat> Apostle IMD, we say God richly bless you. Now, Chairman, it's time for us to induct our new directors into office. But before we do that, we respectfully want to invite um, the voice of Pentecost to lead us in this song. A charge to keep I have. Shall we all rise to our feet as we sing together with the voice of the charge to keep It's not just about evangelism 
or building huge structures or congregations but it's about discipling nations if that is so then we cannot be careless about it because we need to disciple nations we need to be very strategic about that very intentional as to what we are doing working in particular ways to be able to disciple nations the real philosophy behind the church unleash it's not so much about numerical growth even though we desire that the whole Ghana will be given to us but the central theme is a certain philosophy of ministry the kind of ministry that de devises means to build major ministries extending across nations ministries not typically found in the local church one of the major characteristics of the church on leash is that it grows broader in ministry we are many therefore our ministry should go broader so that every one of us will have something to do in the church one man has said the mark of a great church it's not in its seating capacity but its sending capacity brothers and sisters as churches grow bigger like our church the ministries within the church must also grow broader that is why we have designed many other means to reach the loss the apostle paul alone said have become all things to all men then what should the church of pentecost say with our numbers we should also design means to reach the lost so that by all possible means we will save some so today by the grace of god we are here we are here to induct and introduce certain ministries that we have designed as a people to reach the lost some we call them the traditional ones and the others are also interventions we are calling them traditional because we have lived with them for a while and they have also found their structures in the constitution of the church so we need to respect that those ones very well now we want to avoid a situation where we come here every year to be inducting people so we shall limit the induction to the traditional ministries otherwise the prayer we are going to pray for all of them will work just for us so that we will not be coming here every year every year coming to induct so we shall limit the induction proper for the traditional ministries but the prayer we will pray for them will be across board have i communicated and especially because of time may i now respectfully ask that we all learn our good spirits to this occasion as we pray and induct our brothers and sisters into the office for which christ has called them in the name of god the father The GS wants me to call you first. So, once he's the GS, please come forward first. So, we want to respectfully ask Apostle Vincent and Anidete. Okay. So, you call them. Yes, so I will do that for you, then sir. Then I will do my way. So, do your part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, respectfully, I want to invite the following who have been given a second term. Apostle. Vincent Anani Dente Pemem, and then Mrs. Philomena Mreku, Women's Ministry. And these ones have also been given their first term. Apostle Emmanuel Apia, Evangelism Ministry, and then Pastor 
Samuel Avenue Children's Ministry. Chair, you may now continue. So, respectfully, we want to invite their deputies to join. Um, for evangelism, we have Elder Ejekumhine, Women's Ministry, uh, Sister Vivian, Amfo, and then children. Yeah. As for Pemem, he's already working, so he doesn't need to be here. Children, you have been inducted already, right? Yeah, so that's okay. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, and on behalf of the Executive Council, the General Council, and the entire membership of the Church of Pentecost, I congratulate you, Apostle Vincent Nanani Dente, Apostle Emmanuel Apia, Pastor Samuel Avonio, and Deaconess Philomena Mirku, on your appointment to the high office of trust as ministry directors of the church of pendicus congratulations i also congratulate elder ishmael jekumhini and dickness mrs vivian Amfo on your appointment as deputy directors as well as all other newly appointed office holders in the various ministries congratulations to you all the general council would however like you to know that acceptance of this office of trust places upon you responsibilities as stipulated in the church's constitution which you must discharge in faith hope and love i solemnly call upon you to affirm the following having fully understood the responsibility that go with your office do you accept the office now, if you do, raise your right hand in pledge to God and the church and say, yes, I do. Uh, I don't know whether their mics are alive. Um, if they are not, they are. Okay. Let me take that again. Having fully understood the responsibility that will go with your office, do you accept the office? If you do, raise your right hands in pledge to God and the church and say, Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yeah, the deputies, you can also raise your right hand. Do you pledge to uphold the tenets, doctrines, and practices of the Church of Pentecost and to work within the framework of the constitution of the church? If you do, raise your right hand and say, Yes, I do. God be my helper. Yes, I do. God be my helper. Amen. Do you promise to execute your duties to God, the executive council, the general council and without let hindrance fear favor or ill will and to be fair to all irrespective of social stature gender and cultural background if you do raise your right hand and say yes i do god be my helper yes i do god be my helper command and teach these things set an example for the believers in speech in life in love in faith and in purity devote yourself to the public reading of scripture to preaching and to teaching do not neglect your gift which was given you through the prophetic message when the body of elders laid their hands on you be diligent in these matters give yourself wholly to them so that everyone may see your progress watch your life and doctrine closely persevere in them because if you do you save both yourself and your hearers amen may i now ask that your spouses come and join you 
Um, you know, just stand by your, your spouse now. Yes, let's space out a bit. Let's go this way. Yeah. Mama, just come to the side. Yes. So Vivian, yes, fine. So that it is more artistic. At this juncture, I would like the General Secretary to call the other ministries, uh, the our chairman and the our coordinators and the other directors to join our brothers and sisters. Thank you, Apostle Chair. So, for the E-Church Committee, we have Apostle Ebenezer Japon, Ghana. Obesia, in fact, he is the minister in charge. Obesia Ebenezer Emmanuel Ousu, support minister. Elder Professor Eric Apeu Asante, presiding elder. Others include Ebenezer Pastor Samuel Morgan, North America, Pastor Lawrence Asante, South America, Pastor Frank Frempong, Europe, Pastor Osu Brown, Francophone, Africa, Pastor David Akli, East Africa, Pastor Peter Darlington, Darlington, Middle East, and then Overseer Samuel Jaswell, Asia and Oceania Block. Ministry to celebrities, Apostle Kinsley Adai, Chairman, Pastor Michael Lai, Jr., Coordinator, Obesia Emmanuel Eyisi Manu, Secretary, Pastor John Achirim, Member, Pastor John Ofei Bedu, Mrs. Roberta Asieru, Elder Dr. Bren Edu Asare, representing Chaplaincy, Elder J.B. Dankwa, Mrs. Abigail Ofei Bedu, representing Ham, Dickness Esther PSC, um, Dickness Augustina Addison, representing Workers Guild, and then Nana Akuto a Japan. Schools Outreach Ministry. So we would now limit it to Schools Outreach Ministry. Apostle Professor Joseph Ignatius Teibuete, Chairman, Pastor Frank, Main Satando Coordinator. Elder Desmond Addison, Assistant Coordinator, Elder Gideon Kwame Oforientri, Pastor Charles Akanwe, Pastor Richard Atobra, Obesia Christian Pepra EJ, Elder Daniel Yaosafo, Elder Dr. Edward Kumsin, El Mrs. Martha Vanessa Apiakubi, Mrs. Joyce A. Asan, and Deacon Alex Enin. Ministry to the other sheep. Apostle Dr. Diodoni Komla Nuope, Chairman, Pastor Abraham Adai Ajiman, Pastor Luke Say, Pastor Dr. Suleimana De Graft Isaka, Pastor Imano Kwesikumi, Pastor Daniel Jechi, Pastor Alfred Kwame Landon, Elder Alfred Kwame Landon, Elder El uh, Alexander Ta, Dickness Lucy Amanda Dagadu, Dickness Lydia Mauto. Prisons Ministry or Ministry to the Ex um, Offenders. Apostle ADP James Tete, Chairman, Pastor Kingsford Asoma, Coordinator, Pastor DSP Thomas Brefo, Assistant Coordinator, Pastor Menison Odoi, Dickness Mrs. Juliana Owusu, Pastor Sylvester Aya, Topika Ashiakbo the Sixth, Elder Professor Kweku Opon Asante, Dickin James Kwesi. Tagbo, Workers Guild, Apostle Anthony Mensa, Chairman, Doctor Elder Doctor Yao Yeboa, Deputy Chairman, Pastor Emmanuel Kenin, Secretary Coordinator, um, Elder Paul Mante, Elder Doctor Paul Frempong, Elder Prof Daniel Obing Etuya, Elder Mensa Benson, Agaga, Doctor Na Akushika. Sepenu and Dickness Sophia Kudaji. Pent Media Center. 
Pastor Dr. Felix Dela Cluche, the director. And then Pencils. Pencils has a new director in the person of overseer Benjamin Asari Yeboah. Chair, thank you very much. Respectfully, we want to invite the traditional ministries also. Please come and join them. The executives, the national executives of the um, traditional ministries, please join them. Please step forward a bit. Step forward so you create space at the back for them. All right, thank you. Thank you. So the, the executive committee of the traditional ministries. Thank you very much, Chair. We want to put our hands together for the Lord. You have to cast your, your minds back many years to be able to appreciate how we have gotten such many leaders. We don't lack leaders at all in this church. The church that used to be on the palm front from the fringes of society, look at where God has brought us. Let's put our hands together for God, for the great thing that he has done for this church. Now, what we are going to do is to pray for our brothers, so that the message that we have received today, God will cause it to happen in their lives, so that because of them, we will have direction, we will have covering. Our ministry as a church of Pentecost will thrive, and we will be able to possess nations that because of us, none will be lost. That the glory of the Almighty will be seen from our churches to every sphere of society. May I respectfully ask that we stand to our feet as we stretch off our hands in prayer, asking God to be good to our brothers and to be good to us. Shall we pray together in the name of Jesus? Holy Mass Sunday. Open your mouth and pray. Just come out and pray. Pray as if you are the director of the evangelism ministry. Pray as if you are the one who has been chosen to lead the other sheep. Pray as if you are the one who is going to lead the in church. Oh, yes. Let oh, us pray yes. that oh, God will be oh, gracious to oh, them. Rabba that during their tenure, we shall oh, see the Rabba church Rabba march forward in a way as the never before. Jesus, shall we pray? Let's Jesus, pray for every one of our of brothers Jesus, here. Shall we pray, oh God, for renewed strength? Let's pray for them in the power of thy spirit. In the name of Jesus. Ole manda da 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 basande zino biri ande masande katanda bi o la masande di 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 sone rapa katande mosone may the Lord touch every one of you may the Almighty have His own way in your life that because of you ministries will thrive may the Lord grant you fresh energy. Fresh fire, fresh grace, in a way as never before. In the name of Jesus, Wabo Labasana. Let us not get tired. Pray, pray as a Pentecostal. Spread forth your hand. What do you say to God? God will take it and use it. In the name of Jesus, Wapa Yandoro Labasone, Biriande Basone de de Bakatane, Zino Le Birianda de de Bakitane, Zino. Bacatandi Mosanda, Baba Yande, Miriando, Zipulu Masande, Macarianda, Zumo Liberia Sino, Bate Kayanda Masonde, in the name of Jesus. We want to respectfully ask our dear trustee and former general secretary of our church, our father Atuadison, to come around and invoke the grace of God upon your life. Expect it and receive it. Yeah. Expect it and receive it. If your wife is standing by you, hold her hands because something is going to happen to you. We just don't pray for naught. You are going to change into another man that you will be able to do this work of the ministry with the grace of God. You will do it and you will not feel tired because God is going to be your strength. Apostle, 
please pray. Heavenly Father, once again you have not denied your church of men and women who are to serve in ministry. And we see here today the signs that physically you are showing that we have the men and the women as fortresses and great energetic leaders to lead your church. But oh Lord, they cannot do it without your support, your help, and especially the anointing and power that oh Lord you emit upon those who serve you. Therefore, I'll cry even as we stand in the gates of heaven Cabo and let Jesus. that fire in Jesus name Lord Jesus descend mightily upon their natural self and build the spiritual grace and favor in them Lord Jesus we have nowhere than in you to serve therefore in service uh, we yeah. need the energy jesus we need name. the grace jesus we name. need the ability in we jesus need name. your anointing uh, oh lord uh, yeah. to turn us around into yes, people who have uh, been graced yeah, no, no, with power from above mm. lord do it and do it yes, and do it yes, and do it yes, again lord. Lord. the multiplicity of your gifts yes lord should be fortified not be ordinary no. But let them be supernaturally, O oh Lord. You. Therefore, O oh Lord, we invoke the power that is in you upon them. Make them different people. In Jesus' name. Different persons. In Jesus' name. Let them be of all in all. In the power of the fire in the Holy Spirit. Lord, fire them up. Amen. Lord, fire them up. Amen. Lord, fire them up. So that they will stand physically and manifest and give out all the rudiments that are in you and in your divine teachings. We believe, oh Lord, in your name, that you will surely do it. And Lord, as we cry upon you, with so tali bele, sale balakabatali, shakabo tali dalabai. Like let the bones in them yes, even speak yes, Lord. and speak oracles oh, of God. In your name, O oh Lord, we pray. Yes, Lord. Let it be seen. Yes, Lord. The old time fire. Yes, Lord. The old time grace. Amen. The old time anointing. Amen. Pour it upon them Abos that there will be Satan. no ordinary persons. Yes, Lord. But those who have settled in you always seeking the direction to move ahead never jesus name we pray lord god almighty in the name of god the father son and holy spirit fit them up jesus name and grace them with this anointing oh, and let them move in jesus name amen amen shall we put our hands together for the lord hallelujah uh, brothers, we want to shake hands with you, executive, please, and apostles, don't sit down. Just shake hands with them. But I want you to know that you are never the same person. Yeah. You are changed. And God will use you mightily. Just trust God and avail yourself. Let some of you take the second row so that we are quick, please. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So may I ask the directors to come up, the directors and the deputies and the coordinators please come up not the wives but the directors
together for Jesus, people of God. People of God, a very big round of applause to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, on behalf of our chairman, please. On behalf of the chairman of our church, I am glad and happy to introduce to you the new directors and deputies that God has blessed his church with. And so, Apostle Emmanuel Apia, the new evangelism director, and his deputy elder, Ejekumine. <laughs> and then, I'm happy to introduce to you the new or continuing permanent director and his deputy, Apostle Vincent Anani Dente, and then Barima Owa Hinesafon. Pleasure is mine to introduce to you the women's director and her deputy, Mrs. Philomena Mreku, and Mrs. Vivian Amfo. And of course, we are glad to introduce to you the newest children's director of our church, the freshest children's director of our church. Hallelujah. Pastor Samuel Avanyon and his deputy elder Alfred Edu. Hallelujah. And then Okay. I'm not done yet. <laughs> now God has also blessed that with a new pencils director. And this is Ovesia Benjamin Asare. Yeah, now there is a church in the cloud. Oh yes. I said there is a church in the cloud. <laughs> Happy is mine to introduce to you Apostle Ebenezer Crunchy, the, the minister in charge of the church in the cloud. The E Church, actually, the E Church. To be assisted by Overseer Emmanuel Ebenezer Ousu. And then the church in the cloud has a presiding elder. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so I am glad to introduce to you the presiding elder of the E Church, Elder Professor Apple Asante. And we have our celebrity, celebrity pastor. <laughs> Happy to introduce to you the coordinator of the celebrity the ministry to celebrities pastor michael Lai. let's give them a round of applause <laughs> the each church man is ebenezer japon no ebenezer crunchy uh -huh. <laughs> he is ebenezer a japon apostle, apostle ebenezer a japon assisted by emmanuel Ebenezer Ousu. Right. <laughs> now we have a media center. And the first director of Pentecost Media Center, Pastor Dr. Della Cluche. A special ministry to the other sheep. So we have some other sheep somewhere we have to bring them in. And coordinating this ministry is our own pastor, Abraham Adai. This is Pastor Emmanuel Kenny. He is the coordinator for the Workers Guild. Pastor Emmanuel Kenny. Pastor Kingsford. Pastor Kingsford Asuma 
He is the coordinator for prisons ministry. Or ministry to ex-offenders. And finally, on behalf of the chairman of our church, I want to introduce to you Pastor Tando, who happens to be the coordinator for schools outreach ministry. Schools outreach ministry. Brothers and sisters, on behalf of the chairman, we congratulate you and we ask that the grace of God will be your portion as you step into this ministry. And through your ministry, may souls be won for the Lord. Congratulations. God bless you. Please, you may be seated. My God, the movie is on. The movie is on, my Lord.
Evangelism director. <laughs> Give the Lord a big round of applause, please. Thank you very much. Apostle Chairman, about eight years ago, the General Council appointed Apostle Dr. Amos Jim Marken as the evangelism director he was then working as our area head at Bolga and so by reason of this appointment he had to relocate to Accra and then started work at the head office as the evangelism director honestly Apostle Amos Jim Mimakin has worked very hard very 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 hard Oh, let's put our hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Keep standing, please. Keep standing. Keep standing. This is a man who preaches with passion. And he does his work with zeal. The kind of passion and the zeal that he has for the evangelism ministry and the lost souls, I don't understand. This is a man I have known long time ago and have admired his ministry since those days. Honestly, I was afraid to go into a district that he has pastored before. But I prayed that God should not give me that grace, but God didn't answer my prayer. And I went to Asoka. But this man's ministry is amazing. With a clap of honor to the Lord, let's appreciate Apostle Dr. Amos Jimmy Martin one more time. <laughs> Hallelujah. An apostle has been supported by his wife, Mama, Mama Mavis. There is a proverb in a can say, Mama Mavis has been a great support to our father. Let's appreciate Mama Mavis. Thank you very much. Chair, we are here at this point in time to bid them farewell as they go to Cape Coast to take over 
the leadership of the Cape Coast area, and not only that, also as the RCC coordinator for the Central Region. We want to now take testimonies about our brother, our father, and our apostle. But before then, I want to advise that a gift table has been set up at the entrance to my left here. If you brought any gift for Apostle Dr. Amos, Jimmy Markin, and his family, you can go there. There are some brothers and sisters there who will take those gifts for them. And so we'll take a testimony about Mrs. Mavis Markin. And to do that is the Women's Ministry, Mount Zion Assembly. In fact, Apostle Jimmy Markin was attached to Mount Zion Assembly, and that is where he fellowshiped. And so the Women Ministry of Mount Zion Assembly will testify about Mrs. Markin. Testimony by Mount Zion Assembly Women's Ministry, Madina District in honor of Mrs. Mavis Markin. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever toward the Lord. For he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Psalm 25, verse 14 to 15. Apostle Dr. Amos Jimmy Markin and Mrs. Mavis Markin were welcomed to Mount Zion in March 2016. They have been indeed being a gift from God to his church. And we are grateful to the Almighty God for his direction. Apostle and Mama have been tremendously impactful to the entire membership for the past eight years. A quiet yet powerful spiritual presence. Mama Mavis Markin is a woman of few words, but spiritual influence speaks volume. Her life is a reflection of the power of prayer as she constantly intercedes for her family and the church. As the women's ministry, we have taken the same path to intercede for our spouses who are officers in the church and for the entire membership of the church a heart of hospitality and approachability. Mama Mavis embodies the essence of warmth and hospitality. She greets everyone, every visitor with a welcoming smile, making one feel at ease in her presence. Her approachable nature endears her to all, from the youngest child to the eldest members of the church. She is known for her impeccable cleanliness, a trait evident in the spotless condition of the mission house no matter when you visit. An independent and hard-working spirit. Mama Mavis is the epitome of a diligent and self-sufficient woman. She takes pride in managing her domestic chores, a quality deeply admired by her or who know her, who knows her. Her industrious nature is evident in the way she maintains her home, always neat and orderly. If she was not immediately seen during a visit, it was certain she was in her room, engaged in fervent prayer. Generosity and gratitude. Generosity flows naturally from Mama Mavis, who is always willing to share what she has without hesitation. Her gratitude for even the smallest act of kindness is touching, as she constantly responds with heartfelt prayers for those who extend gestures of goodwill towards the family. Faithful and punctual in service. Mama Mavis is a paragon of faithfulness and punctuality in her service to God. Even when Apostle Dr. Amos Jimmy Markin is away due to his shadow, she remains steadfast in her commitment to attending church. Her devotion is evident in the way she ensures her thighs are delivered, even if she misses a Sunday service. She is diligent in her observations, noting the absence of others and sharing the sermon's message with them a devoted student of the Bible and a wise counselor. Whenever there was an opportunity for testimonies and thanksgiving during Sunday service, Mama Mavis will be found with her Bible, ready to read some scriptures to encourage members. Her wisdom and counsel are treasured by those who have had the privilege of seeking her advice at home. A pillar of support for Apostle, Amos, Apostle Dr. Amos Jimmy Markin. Behind the successful ministry of Apostle Dr. Amos Jimmy Markin is the constant support of Mama Mavis Markin. Her prayers and commitment to the ministry have been very instrumental in 
his abilities to serve in the kingdom of God as an evangelism director. The women's ministry and the entire membership of Mount Zion are eternally grateful for the impact Mama Mavis has made during the past eight years. As we embark on a new mission in Cape Coast, we pray that God's presence will continue to guide you. God bless you, Mama Mavis. God bless the entire family. Emma Conkron! Thank you. A round of applause, please. A round of applause, please. Let's appreciate Mama Mavis with a clap of friend. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now I want to take a testimony from the evangelism ministry, um, a ministry that Apostle has led for the past eight years. And so we want to invite Pastor Ejeni Malcolm and the neck of the evangelism ministry to present their testimony. Let's receive him with a clap. Sons of God, it should come with action. Sons of God, victory, arise and shine. One name, we thank God for this opportunity. We want to thank Apostle Chair for granting us the opportunity to read the testimony by the evangelism ministry in honor of our dear apostle dr amos jimmy Markin. there is a man sent from god whose name was john he came to bear witness to the light jesus christ the savior of the world john chapter 1 verse 6 and 7. apostle dr amos jimmy Markin took over the mantle as director of the evangelism ministry in 2016 and in the past eight years we have witnessed a god's general in our generation a man highly anointed with the holy spirit and power a man who is compassionate about perishing souls and has a strong desire that all unbelievers will be saved before the second coming of Christ. He is a man of the word and prayer who travels in intercession. For the past eight years, he has birthed many evangelists through prayer, training, and an exemplary life. Thousands of souls have been saved, delivered, healed, baptized in the Holy Spirit, and empowered through his ministry. His ministrations are backed with power, signs, and wonders, a true reflection of who a man of God is. Under the leadership of Apostle Dr. Jimmy Markin, the ministry has witnessed innovative evangelism strategies that have expanded our reach, a culture of prayer, unity, and teamwork within the ministry, and a personal growth and development of staff and workers of the ministry his passion commitment to evangelism have left an indelible mark on our lives apostle dr emo jimmy markin is a father a mentor a great teacher a man of faith a role model a friend and a true example of a genuine pentecostal evangelist who demonstrates a life fully surrounded to god he is a servant leader who loves his children a pastor who cares and shows concern for his flock an apostle who is passionate about developing and unleashing young ministers who work under him he is very friendly and firm easy to approach affable and down to earth he uses every opportunity to impact anyone who draws closer to him 
he instructs in wisdom and gentleness shells in our deepest joys stands with us in our darkest hours hold us close to his heart strengthen our hands cheers our souls and assures our hearts of the hope we have in christ apostle dr jimmy markin courageously delegates responsibility and authority to pastors under his jurisdiction to empower them for greater responsibilities he effectively employs the participatory and consultative style of leadership in meetings which ensures an all-inclusive decision making and implementation process he always motivates his staff to learn hard and pray always his proactive leader who builds on the results of yesterday to plan for the future he always aspires for and inspires excellence in everyone during the eight years of his role as the evangelism ministry director he made remarkable achievements through his innovative and spirit-filled ideas through his hard work the gospel heralds were formed and these young men and women have provided invaluable support during crusade and outreach evangelistic outreaches in addition to the leaders consult a platform where leaders are trained for effective leadership was inaugurated the ministry also acquired a multi-purpose evangelism mobile truck equipped with sound equipment which has helped to reduce the pressure costs and risk associated with movement of equipment for evangelism outreaches under his leadership the ministry constructed a storehouse at Nsawim to serve as a storage hub for the ministry's equipment he has also rolled out the appointment of regional representatives to assist the national executive committee NEC, in coordinating evangelism activities in the regions apostle dr jimmy markin spearheaded the evangelism conference dubbed evacon during eight years of his leadership and this brought great revival to the ministry these innovations and initiatives have made major evangelistic outreaches seamless for the church again during his tenure as the director the ministry organized several groundbreaking power pack crusades across ghana and other parts of africa some crusades like the greater accra they recently had greater accra for christ crusade greater kumasi for christ takwa sola aflao madagascar south africa kenya Masai, and togo crusades are memories that will be aged on the hearts of partners and lovers of evangelism for a long time in addition to the crusades there has been a great leap in the operations of film evangelism that is mobile and immobile one area of innovation is the introduction of the event outreach programs which saw the ministry participate in major festivals like Kweu easter festival Winiba abuachre ada asafut asafutia fiami and then ho Azogli Teza festivals, as well as sports evangelism programs. In the area of capacity building, he sets up themes such as the music team, technical team, sound engineers, and electricians team, media evangelism team, literature and program team, protocol team, new convert follow-up and discipleship team, welfare team, financiers and help team intercessory team medical team apostolic and evangelistic team and social outreach team during ministration he will usually touch the ears with the right palm for an amen answer so i just want to mimic him That 
the ministration was being received by faith his impactful ministry can be attributed to the intense prayer and fasting support by his wife mama Mavis Markin. she has been a pillar behind the scenes and a backbone for the great ministry of her husband you can do it better you can do it better it is our prayer that as he leaves the role of the evangelism ministry director at the headquarters to become the area head in Cape Coast the Lord will catapult him to a higher pedestal in his ministry Apostle Dr. Imojimi Makin may he who called you grant you greater unction and grace for greater works may the Lord of the harvest continue to bless you in this life and the life to come god bless you for being an extraordinary leader director and a friend we will always cherish the memories and lessons learned under your guidance we salute you we salute you we salute you god bless you so much okay. yeah so they have some citations to present you go and present your citations and then um you you just shake hands with him and we can continue let's give them a round of applause doing the work of the lord publishing his mighty name oh doing the work of the lord oh spreading of his love to You can present it to me, please. Oh, sparing the precious seed. Apostle Dr. Amos Jimmy Markin upstage. Is there anything you want to tell God and also tell the congregation? We want to take your response. Apostle Dr. Amos Jimmy Markin and his wife. Chairman said, Tobara, Tobara. Sons of God, Papa Chairman, the Lord bless you. I will be very snappy. We want to acknowledge that everything we are now is and the kind.
kind benevolence of the Church of Pentecost. We bless God for his faithfulness and kindness. On Tuesday, I said at the church headquarters that if somebody has asked me of my testimony, I would have summed them up in two simple words, God's faithfulness and God's kindness. We want to use this opportunity, therefore, to express to him that we have seen his faithfulness, acknowledged his goodness, and bless and thank him for the multitude of his kind provision and everything he has done for and to us. Can we give the Lord a praise, please? <laughs> Beloved, as the scripture has indicated, we are the servants of God. What he has asked for us is what we have tried to do. We declare that we are unworthy servants, just trying to do what the master required of us. May his name be praised. Amen. Beloved, for the many numbers of persons, including you, which God has used and is still using to shape, build, and bless our lives and ministry, we say thank you. But permit me to mention but a few. Apostle Dr. Michael Kwabna to me, the late former chairman, was a dear and special friend, a mentor, and a father. He visited me almost every year when I was in Kumasi PIWC. He inspired in me such confidence and courage and urged me on beyond my ability. It was he who brought me to be his pastor in Accra. His family became that of mine and mine his. Until the last of his life, he was still encouraging me concerning evangelism in the church. And I am very grateful to him, his wife and family. May his soul rest in peace. My path, dear beloved, first crossed with that of our former chairman, Apostle Professor Opokunina at Cape Coast University in 2011. Since then, I had not found in any a man with such genuine sincerity. It was he the Lord used to bring me out of obscurity. In my presence, he called every member of the then executive, executive council, and I heard every word he said to them about me. He went ahead to mention me at every meeting he attended. It was he who took me to be an area head and subsequently appointed me as the evangelism ministry director. And I am very grateful to him and have not forgotten his self. Thanks to his wife, Mama Grace, my mother, I call her. But to say the least, what could I have done without the kind help of my dear brother, friend, our chairman? You can do it better than this one, Apostle Eric Nyamiche. The general of the possessing the nation's agenda. The team, the, this team is what is pairing us on in the church now for evangelism. And I, on behalf of the ministry, want to thank you and the international executives for your support. Thanks, my brother, for the numerous opportunities you opened to me and the massive help towards evangelism in the church. We cannot quantify it. The engineering of new evangelism initiative like the HAM, the NPWD, and many recent initiatives just as you have witnessed. The major one was your kind effort to have this proclamation out to stage equipment which has aided the preaching of the gospel. For this and many other interventions toward evangelism, may Jehovah bless you for your exceptional leadership resilient supervision, godly counsel, and motivational help. Our regards to our mother, Mama Mary. God bless you. I want to bless my brothers, Apostle Kumi Labi, the evangelist, 
the former GS, and also our general secretary now for their efforts to evangelism and their wives. In the headquarters, the work of the ministries have been very cordial and complimentary. The ministry directors lived, as it were, as one mother and four male siblings. My regards to all the directors and their deputies, both present and reviewed, and also to all the headquarters directors, the fad managers and workers, from the security post through to the driver's pool and cleaners, you have been a blessing to us. But, thank you. Beyond this, there are some unseen persons behind the work the Lord graced me to do, which I want to acknowledge briefly. The first one is an elderly man called Reverend Dr. Emmanuel Apia. It's amazing. That man encouraged me every day of his life. It was amazing. And his encouragement spurred me on. But it was all behind the scene. And then this apostle who died recently called Apostle Enin. We will not go for any work for which this man will not call. And compare us to the old witness. And show us what to do. Then another old man called Apostle Anson. Three days ago, he sat on my phone talking to me about evangelism for 45 minutes. Yes. And it is something he has done all this while, each time we go and come. Then there is another brother, Elder Dr. Nana Amoto, being in family. And the brother. When I was going to the north, all the equipment I carried, he bought them single handed. And at that time, it was more than 60,000. Every one of it. And then, my own brother, I went to relieve Apostle MC Esiedu. But, Chairman, permit me to just say this. Sitting in an evangelism residence in East Legon, if you live in Kotobabi, somebody can take a trotro. You need Uber. This young man called Elder Koshi Delilah visited me every week for eight years. Once every week. And I can't forget it. Every week he will be there. When I have not seen anybody, I will see him. But to tell you the truth, dear brothers and sisters, all my two know is because of this woman sitting here. He has never been to one outreach except the one we went yesterday. Anytime we move, she locks the door. And many of the things I preach, I steal it from her. So let me use this opportunity to bless God for the people he gave me to work with. The kind help of the area heads and their support. The numerous area leaders and district leaders. But God intentionally selected a neck for me. Wonderful people. Apostle Francis Yaedu, Apostle Shadrach Ohine Asotu and his wife, Mami Beatrice, and Apostle James Tete. And then the elders, Elder Dr. Ken Abua, Setia Piasa, Kwami Eyim, Pastor Frank Ewa, Pastor A.B. Ajimai, Elder Na, and Dickness Eunice Obey. In fact, those times when there was no money, these were the people who take monies out of their pockets. They contribute money plenty. And that is what we used to use at that time. I'm finishing. We give thanks to the crusade team members, the musicians, the evangelists, the Pentecost Gospel Heralds, the power producers and other pastors, and as of my miss, as speakers and helpers in many of our crusades. I had, not, I had an incredible staff to work with 
at the secretariat, my driver, Mr. Cosmos Kwao, my secretary, Mrs. Teresa Obajin, the technical support team lead, led by Elder Parry, Kennedy, and Moru, and Mr. Justice and Mr. Maxwell. Others who helped included Deacon Richard, Auntie Victoria, Brother Philip, the security man. My last is the financial supporters for the ministry. Elder Joseph Mbroko Ewul, Elder Prince Amwa, Elder Joseph Siao Ejapon, Elder Vise, Victor Owusu, Reverend Mark Osebuachi, some of these ones are not in our church. Mr. Kwame in Timedu, Deacon Ofori of White Chapel. He's a deacon from Baptist, but he's the one who gives us all the cinema vans that you see. Elder Nana Freddy Ajemain, late Deaconess Eunice Asumahine, Nana KJC, and Elder Isaac Owusuansa, and many others. And some of our brothers, like Elder Stephen Uwakesi, Elder Dr. Bismarck Amua, Elder Godfrey Asari, and Nana or Ubo Dr. Tazan. Kunja, the paramount chief of, uh, of Pasa. I want to bless my local assembly, Mount Zion. Please bless them for me. This is a special family. Thanks also to my close-knit family and distinted family. And many countless of you who supported our work. But I will have one request and sit down. I want to humbly make a request of you as I step down. My humbly request is as what the chairman has always been saying, that at this level of the possessing the nation's agenda, we as a church will aggressively drive every COP member to be an ardent witness for Christ. Every member. If we are a pastor or an elder and you are paid, the chairman have said that the sinners are our clients. But because it was English, we didn't hear it well. But the say, at the Lastly, let us churn our individual funds as support for the proclamation of the gospel. Many blessings to all of us. Amen. Sorry. God bless you. You have represented us very well. And because of you, we have won victory for Christ. God bless you. So maybe God bless you. We were in the Bible school together, myself and Jimmy Mackey. We were the youngest and we were champions with table tennis. Anytime that there's a match between the two of us, oh, you have left your, your, let's go and pick it. Let me pick it for you. Oh, at least to say thank you to you, let me, let me, let me carry it. Oh, I beg you, I beg you. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wait there, wait there. Okay, then let, oh, let me carry, let me carry it. I'll follow you. Sons of God, march forward. <laughs> oh, let me carry it for you. Hey. Yeah, just put your hands together. He has served us very well. Yes. All our mates are retiring. It's left to how many of us? Four. And then the two of us who will retire first, you. <laughs> when he retires, the follow here, I'll, I'll follow him. Yeah. And so let's put his. Um, there's something he has taught all of us. Once they give you the baton, do the best you can for everything comes to an end one day 
today as he's standing here we are all rejoicing because we can all know and feel that he has done his best thank you very much please sit down shall we have the executive council come and then we pray for our brother yeah please if the children are here please come and join your dad are they around Yasori Ashasi 
ene na wiye asori seche mu krafo a yedru ehie bia so a umma emunyansa ene emu adom emoye ewiei ona asori omo eti ase ene omo afri muko ejina omo ana mu di aseda amam ona osumafo emos jimmy markin ne ne yire ne busua odene ye wakuma so bema na sempaka e wa asori mu no odene si anu ne mfie ngotwe achi odene adwuma abawiye ye sumanu fantimem cape coast central region nyina asumafo e wo ho ne asofo wonu no ho koda no ye bompa ye sere adum biara ehia sa wo de badum ubo ni aho din biara ehia fadum ubo ni nyansa en totoye bi biara ehia en osra awrade fadum ubo ni ye bompa ye de aseda emao ewie o se se edu anadwo a obeye jafadum edi enim ewi abrem obeye suwisie edi aman edi wasi pi ubo ni ye pon na dwuma ni aja no kwan ye srese wan kasa ube di ubo ni achi wa ye ni ni anamo ensa edi amanu awrade kan ubo ni ho na bua ni ni amanyina mu afa ubo ni ayede ni hye nanam ye wurade ani enya nkopon ye bompa ye sere eganum sunsum ade ma ubo ni osmafo yi ke apia awrade bua no awrade bua no sona sinim sona techre masuja sona kumam na fa osubo ni nkanya nsronko nso efadum no na asempakan enhunu kanko ono nso breso ye de wasi pi ewie wasori e show enu nyam o jesus christ dimu ni abom pai amen amen afi nyame ni pa emos ene ye ma me mevis ene ebusia nyame dada na moye mo cha to mo na ye mo hu mo to ho no tu mo se chatten no de ma ye adwuma so na etisi nyama hwere ho na mfam biara on sema na mu amen awrade nso mo ni ngo foforo na mo hu kwa chi on so ma so ngo okasa mate ate ase o mu e ma no mo ka ma kanim ehintasam osuru emu e ma mo haleluya nyama ho odi ensan wo mo sosoro nko in fe dodo a aka o manim no yehu a islam hallelujah o islam asase o islam ministry o islam on sanu aduma e di e must jimmy mark nya isra e ma asore o man ene abusua e wi a islam o nyame acha e wi a islam o nyame oba e wi a islam o nyame onkunkun se ne o manim no en sren en sen ne amahu o yesu christo di mo Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God bless you. Nice. 
almost caused a blunder. I forgot about my own secretary. Osofu Jenny Maku Dakwa. He's one of the best secretaries I've worked with. And I forgot his name. Please, may the Lord bless you wherever you are. Thank you. And Nitaki Otu is true. The Lord bless Nitaki Otu. Amen. Apostle, have you mentioned all? Are you sure? Uh, if you still have some more names, we have time for you. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll take announcements and then we'll close. And uh, please, uh, this week is Children's Ministry Week, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the Children's Director is happy I'm mentioning it. This week is Children's Ministry Week, and we want to encourage each and every one of us to fully participate. Let's all of us support and make it a very successful week. And let's give in support of the children's ministry as well. Um, next Sunday in the afternoon, we shall be welcoming all transferred heads. Next Sunday in the afternoon. So we shall have the children's ministry service in the morning, all right. Then in the afternoon, all heads who have been transferred will be uh, welcome. And then um, the heads, you are aware of what we want to do right from after this uh, <laughs> right after this service so i don't need to say it again so as has been communicated to you right from here we move to base and that is that now please when we close the service the executive council members and heads are kindly requested to exit the church premises through the back gate Germans. Yeah, we want to take some one or two photographs. Uh, I'm assisting the general secretary. So please, all the traditional directors, the new ones, please come here and the executive council members will join them. So the new directors, the five new direct the five ministry directors who are here. You are four. Yeah, the new ones. Okay, four. One. Uh -huh. So, cameraman, you take them one shot quickly. The executive council will join them.
away. 